Our second artist is Natalie Picard. Natalie lives in Oregon, but is from the Huron-Wendat Nation in Quebec. She is a professional flute player, storyteller, and singer who also works with language preservation. Natalie is researching materials connected to Iroquoian music, including song recordings and transcriptions, as well as bone flutes and whistles and other Iroquoian musical instruments. So please welcome Natalie. We are finding our voice again. Uh, in 1649, uh, my people uh, uh, had to go away from uh, Georgian Bay, uh, close to Lake Huron in Ontario. Some of them went south and merged with the other Iroquoian tribes, and uh, a, a small portion of them followed the missionary uh, east to Quebec City, where the missionary founded a mission of Jeanne Lorette in 1697. And still today, uh, that's where we live, uh, the descendant of these people, which I'm part of it. Uh, and it's a federal reservation of one square mile. Shendaiwas Natali Picard Hiati, Wendat Indi, Wendake Ekwayerti, Kandiawish Iwahityokuta. My name is Shenda Ewas. It means she who cannot she who cannot find a name to suit her. That's my. <laughs> There's a long story with it, <laughs> but I won't do it here. And it's a turtle clan name. And I'm Wendat, Huron Wendat, and we speak French in our village. And uh, we have been working on the language too. This is a song I played for you that I composed. Uh, the first song I composed on, with my ancestral language. This is a picture of uh, our chiefs in around 1905. In the middle, you have my, the father of my great-grandfather, Gaspard Picard. And um, he's here on the left, on the, your left, yeah. <laughs> and um, when I was doing the research at NMAI last week, I was supposed to go see a wampum because uh, uh, one of the archivists, Veronica, said that there was a wampum uh, by the name of Picard, who they obtained by the name of a Picard. So she said it's from your tribe. So the morning I was supposed to go, I was doing some research on internet, and I found out that the wampum that Gaspar Picard was wearing was at NMAI number 11750006. So I'm like, could that be the same wampum? That would be too extraordinary that I would find it this morning. Sometimes life is just magical and helps you in many ways. So when I arrived at the archives and the collection, it was the wampum that my great-great-grandfather was wearing on the picture. 
105 years later, <laughs> here I am holding the wampum. This is some of the uh, amazing things that happens when we go through the collection and work uh, in this program. I'm very thankful to, be, to have the opportunity to be here and research our songs and uh, see our, collection, our objects. This is our village. Uh, part of it is our village and part of it is part of Loretteville. It's not all Wendake there. Uh, the older part is at the bottom. The new part is on top of the image. Uh, here you have uh, Annette Vincent, who is our faith keeper at the Longhouse. Uh, and Michel Savard, Tehari Houlin, who is the keeper of the songs in our village and it's on Bastien. This is in Huronia at the Rye River. And below you have the, it's a historical house. We have old French houses on the reservation uh, in our village. And this is where I'm gonna teach the songs to the kids next summer, to the kids of our community. This is our museum and hotel. It's made like a long house. And the, the part on this side is the museum part. And I'm gonna be collaborating with uh, the museum in my project. I'm a musician, I'm a flute player. Uh, I studied classical music, but uh, I prefer to jam and play uh, jazz, funky music, and uh, so that's my wild side. <laughs> so, but I also went back to my roots after doing all that crazy stuff <laughs> and um, started to play native flute uh, 15 years ago, I think. I didn't count. And I play with different uh, type of uh, groups. I play with an ensemble. We play uh, Nouvelle France style music. We mix the native flute with the old instruments of that era. And uh, we travel to France a lot to play. And I also play with my husband, who's a flute maker, Dennis Hatch. And we played at Casa Grande Festival. And, um, yep. <laughs> and I also play Cuban jazz. That was my main. Uh, uh, that was the main thing I was doing before I started to go back to my roots. I will make you listen to a little part of it, if I can find the, sorry, okay. So this is with Yoel Diaz Cuban Jazz Session. <laughs> Sorry. Um, so this is a completely different style, but uh, there's a possibility to mix both. Cause we tried some traditional songs and adapted to cha-cha-cha because the tradition is alive today too, so we need to bring it alive today. Uh, this is at uh, Canada Day with uh, Gilles Siwi, uh, one of our singers from uh, When That People, and Flora Volant, who was with Cashton, at uh, in Ottawa, we were representing a First Nation musician for that uh, show. I also do storytelling and workshop with kids. Uh, so this is some of the masks I use in my storytelling. And I started to work on our language in 2007. Uh, it has been a great uh, journey. Um, it's a wonderful thing to be able to express myself with some of the words that my ancestors used to find out the way they were thinking also through the language. Uh, it's a difficult task. We work with the Jesuit manuscript. And uh, that brought me to Bread of Life in uh, last June in 2013, which was a, a wonderful workshop with 60 people who were working on languages, uh, uh, endangered languages. And it was amazing to see that we go through the same things, same struggles, same passion, and we keep contact and we help each other. So that was a wonderful experience I was able to do last summer here. 
and I'm very grateful about this. Uh, this is our team. We join Wendat, Wyandot, and Wendat together because that's a sister language. So we join the research together and uh, I was teaching at the primary school in my community for three years, uh, around these years, 2006. And there's a tradition of folklore, music and dances in my community, but it's not uh, the majority who knows the traditional songs from the Longhouse, because the Longhouse people, we are a minority there who do the ceremony. So I thought it was important to show the kids our traditional songs. And uh, they finally uh, played that uh, sang at the Pawa. They were super excited. I remember that day like yesterday. And um, in my project, these kids, today they are 18, 19, 20, 21. And uh, when they have to go to high school, sometimes they have to go away from singing because they don't have the same opportunities and uh, they are cut trying to fit in the mold with uh, uh, the majority of Quebecois. And I thought this was very sad, so I, I'm a stubborn person and I, want to, I remembered uh, when a young girl told me that she was not singing anymore because she didn't feel comfortable anymore to sing her traditional songs. So seven years later, I'm coming back to try to bring them together to sing again the songs we used to sing and to sing the new songs that I'm gonna find in the, the archives. We share the songs with the Longhouse people from uh, the Odenosane uh, Confederacy. Actually, it's a uh, Yuran Wendat who made that the Iroquois Confederacy. So these are my goals for this project. I want to show them the instruments. I want to show them that it's not just the small minority at the Longhouse who sing these songs and do these ceremonies and dances, that it's all around the Iroquois community. This is where we come from. And I want them to feel good about who they are um, because uh, I find that it is very challenging and you need to be strong to be able to walk uh, uh, your path with your heritage today in the world. And, but I think it brings a lot of uh, positive and strength to a person if you're able to do it. So I want to help them continue in their path, uh, being uh, the different unique people they are. Uh, we're about maybe 5,000 here on Wanda today, maybe a little bit more. The, uh, and there's a lot hidden in the other Iroquois tribes. Um, but um, I think this is super important and I'm gonna help them to merge this in their today life. Uh, like there's a kid who does rap. So I'm gonna try to teach him a few when that words or phrases that he can incorporate in his rap music. And maybe this can bring them back to the traditional songs and bring it further for the generation to come. Like I said, I'm very honored to be here and have the opportunity to do this for my tribe. Uh, everybody has been wonderful in helping us and intuitive uh, fighting things for us. So I want to thank you very much. And if you like my music, if you want to buy my music, I'm on iTunes and um, my email if you need to contact me. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you.